180! If the lady wants a baby, I'm the cock of the law. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> 180! Who says this is a game just for mentally challenged, toothless alcoholics? an early Cliff Lazarenko when he knocked Keith Deller out of the world match play in 1984. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to write a speech that I've got to make in less than 72 hours to about a thousand people. But hey, never mind all that. Tell me some more about this Cliff Lazarenko. In 1976... <laughs> Listen! It's not just any speech I've been asked to do. It's the Employment and Recruitment Federation's biannual trade conference. Oh, say it again, you dirty bitch. <laughs> joking, there's going to be loads of important contacts there. Get this right, I could clean up. <laughs> We're not getting too technical for you, are we? <laughs> Come in the kitchen, I'll explain what cleaning up means. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when most people hear the phrase recruitment consultant, do you know what they think of? Black clouds. <laughs> Dark, foggy nights in a graveyard. Dead puppies. EastEnders. A faceless Mr X on the end of the phone, promising to find Mr Y, but actually delivering Mr Z. Have you been eating my alphabet spaghetti? <laughs> I see the Daleks finally met their match. <laughs> Toilet's blocked. Why can't you do it? I'm a cleaner, not a plumber. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> you, a lover. You, a cleaner. <laughs> end up doing it. The same person who does everything else. The speech writing, bill paying, telephone answering, muggins. I wonder who'd been doing all those muggins. <laughs> Roll on tomorrow. Why? What's happening? I've got a new PA joining me, Leslie. Oh, hello. It's a bloke. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> ah, talk of the devil. Hello, I was just talking about you. You're such a cheeky little boy, Leslie. I'm going to have to put you over my knee. You have to be much stricter than that with cheeky little boys. <laughs> Try punching him in the face. What? You can't do that to me. Oh, dear. Now what's he suggesting? I don't care if you have found another position. Oh, I know which one he means. <laughs> Tell him you've always found it unhygienic. You cannot pull out on me like that. Make your mind up, love. He's got another job. I'm never going to get this speech written. Oh, God, I want to kill myself. Oh, that's an awful thing to say. I had an aunt who killed herself. Sorry. That's OK, I never met her. <laughs> well, there goes my theory. <laughs> you missed your chance there, didn't you? Lucy Stress needs a PA. 70% of marriages start with an office romance, you know. My first love was a work colleague. Yeah, what was his name? Mr Sheen. <laughs> Close. It was Barry. <laughs> Do you get it? Barry Sheen. <laughs> yeah. uh, me and Barry used to work together at B&Q in Dagenham. Carry on, Emily Bronte. I'm welling up. <laughs> at first I wasn't that interested, but then I decided I needed some help in the bathroom department. That's not a euphemism. <laughs> anyway, they sent Barry over. He was brilliant. Really helped me out in a tight spot. That's not either. <laughs> I soon saw what an honest, decent, hard-working bloke he was. How long were you together? Not long. He got sacked for nicking a claw hammer. <laughs> Is it really 70%? Yes. And if an innocent man hadn't been condemned, we'd still be together now. How do you know he was innocent? Because I nicked it. <laughs> oh, he's a beautiful man, Barry. Had a unique knowledge of the sanderson Uben system. <laughs> All right, that one was a euphemism. <laughs> Thanks for helping me with this speech, Tim. I'm absolutely snowed under at the moment. That's OK. What are big brothers for? Crying to Mum that I broke a scale electric set. Yeah, right, leave it out. That was months ago. <laughs> Sorry for spoiling your day out, Daisy. Oh, it was only the aquarium. I don't really like it anyway. I don't think fish should be kept in cages. <laughs> right, done it. Let's hear it, then. Ladies and gentlemen, I know what's going through your minds. You're looking at me thinking, who's this silly little girl who clearly hasn't got the financial backup or indeed the brain power to compete in this competitive world of headhunting? 
But I tell you what I have got. Something that puts me ahead of you bigger companies. And do you know what that something is? I'm cheap. Oh, God. <laughs> Barbara, be your love and get me that bottle of Semion from the fridge. Oh, no, you don't need alcohol. What you need is a lovely massage from your auntie Barbara. Yeah, I reckon the thought of Barbara rubbing me down would eradicate any thought of a Semion. <laughs> Thank you. Lucy, I've been thinking. I don't really like seeing you with so much on. I mean work. <laughs> so I thought maybe I could be your PA. You? Yeah. I can help you with all sorts of things, like that speech. What do you know about speeches? I know they have to be funny for a start. <laughs> I did a best man speech once. Started off by having a friendly dig at the master of ceremonies. After that, they're eating out the palm of my hand. What did you say? I said, that's an interesting face. What do you do for a hobby? Step on rakes. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Were you there, Tim? Oh, I was there, all right. <laughs> Were you the master? Yes. <laughs> I might use that. Here's another one you can have. I said to this bloke, where are you from? He said, Southampton. I said, sorry. He said, Southampton. I said, no, I heard you. I'm just sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, but you were lucky with that one, because what if he hadn't have said Southampton? <laughs> Here's another one you can have. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to give you some insight into how nervous I've been about this speech, this is the fifth time today I've risen from a warm seat with a piece of paper in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you could do uh, the one about the horse with the long face. You know, when, when his face is long because he's a horse, it's not because he's sad or anything. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Thanks for helping me with all this, Lee. It's great stuff. See? I could be quite helpful if you gave me the chance. Oh, go on. Let him be your PA. What have you got to lose? You weren't sure about me either before you hired me. Shush, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you're on a one-week trial. You won't regret this. I will bring dedication, effort and efficiency to this job. Now, that's a good one. Get that one down. <laughs> I will prove to you that I'm the best PA since... It was a really good PA. <laughs> oh, um. Oh, what's his name? Uh, from the A-Team. P.A. Uh, Caracas. 